Hi, welcome to the video of Arclinux D. The Arclinux D website is all about desktops. It stands for an ISO, but it also stands for the word desktop. All the desktops, 33 desktops, have been covered. So first study here, listen here, and then ask questions later. But first, do a search, by the way. There is a search up here, and listing is also something interesting. Here you can find four words, maybe, or go over the, the text, uh, the titles. But search, of course, will make a better uh, approach. It's a better approach to look for words. Now, the video we're going to make is about installing, using the Arclinux D ISO, which is the most bare ISO that we have. But since knowledge grew over the five years, we can tell you now, you can install it via our scripts, your own scripts, Calamaris, your own commands, start typing, the tweak tool, the B ISOs, and even Arch, like phase seven. And phases have to do with the university approach. Start with something uh, easy and then a little bit more complex, a little bit more complex, and then the real complex thing is actually doing an Arch Linux installation, or maybe phase eight, which is going to build your own ISO. That's, of course, also super complex. So things um, evolve. That's the point. And Arclinux D is not phase one. It's phase six to the end, right? So you need to have a lot of knowledge already to even think about starting with this. Now, every single one of these articles provides you knowledge. No matter what desktop we install, they all provide probably a little bit different and, and and some other info because also of timing five years time applications change things change right so information here if you want to tackle the Arclinux D ISO might be not the good idea to start here and go through it and also to save your own uh, save your scripts and configs why would I lose use um, GitHub or GitLab or something, Git, right? Why? Because of this, you keep a track and also I, you can read, you have a look. So we're gonna make a installation video, which is this guy, Hyper. And that's the look of Hyper. It's a Thailand winner manager and there are four options. And we're making a video and we're gonna go for Calamaris, option one, and option two, and do it in one video. All right, so Super F7, I have Arclinux D, it's in there. I start it. I tell the system that, oh, sorry, to go to UFI, boot please from the CD-ROM, DVD, all fake of course, eh? it's a virtual box. And the first lines were for Intel and AMD. Second line, if nouveau, is not appreciated, so it's not there. Third and fourth is for NVIDIA um, cards, so the newer cards, and everything fails basically. Number five, no mode set is something you need to remember for other distros maybe. You can actually type it and boot up like that if it's not there. So we'll get a pass through kind of thing. Maybe I'll, I'll add something in this video uh, that we can update the Arch Linux mirrors. Basically your system, Arch Linux, is 90% Arch. A few packages are coming from uh, us and a few packages are coming from AOR and that's it. So now he just looked around and decided, okay, that's the fastest server in Belgium. That's where I'm located. You can also run gparted and if, if, if a Calamaris crashes somewhere, it's because you made it too difficult for it, right? This can be removed. There are people out there who make partitions and partitions and partitions and so on and then encrypt everything and so on. If that's the case, gparted to the rescue and say, clean it. This is a clean slate, the blackboard, wipe it, right? There's another tip as well. That's create partition table. This is for bias 
and this is for GPT. There he is. We are UEFI. That's GPT. Our virtual machine thinks we're on UEFI. You can do this as well, which also gives an extra thing to clean slate everything. Okay, that's that. I have a clean slate. My hard disks are empty. Tip of the day, people with more hard disks like C, Windows, D, data, right? Unplug the data if you can. In desktops, that's possible. Just plug, unplug the, the cable, right? Because, yeah, people put Linux distros by accident over all their data. It's gone, right? It's just gone. So unplug it if you have something similar. Choices, base, advanced, base, advanced. Base means black. You get a bunch of stuff that Calamars takes care of already, but you end up in a black screen. This one is going to give you all the choices and you have a nice graphical environment when you boot up. Languages change, well, lots of languages, right? Change. Next. No need to install kernels unless you know that you have issue with the current kernel. Then you choose another one, but normally kernels are fine, have been fine for me for five years. But hey, right? And then these guys are already on your system, so that's okay. This is not on your system, right? Bluetooth. Do we even need it? Then don't install it if you don't have it. Bluetooth application, this goes with that, right? This is the application, choose the app you prefer. Network discovery, yes, no. Printing support, yes, no. Sharing stuff over the internet, well, not the internet, the home network. Sound, Pulse Audio or Pipewire. I recommend for Tiny Winner Managers, Pulse Audio, since we're making that ready, all the scripts and all that ready for Pulse Audio. Next. SDM, yes, please, thank you, with that default look. Next, and now the choice, right? 33 desktops. So this time it's for Hyper to shine. So desktop, all kinds of options here. And it's up to you to decide if you think that you don't need D menu because you hate it and so on and so on, right? Decision time, but no. Start first with what we give you and see how far you get with that. Next, 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 next. You go check whatever tool you like and love, right? Then we go to Belgian. Next, erase disk, no swap, X. This is gray. Why is this gray? Ah, yeah, cheap parted, right? Watch some other videos. Then you see colors here, partitions like this one. No, we've departed this thing. It's it's erased. Unknown free space. Cool. Next. Okay. And next. And install. And we're on both on pause because it needs to install all the packages. Pausing now. And then we restart the system. And then we hope for the best. SDM greets us. Simplicity is the theme. The welcome app greets us again. Some things to do, unless not is this installed, right? The button is a beautiful button, but behind it is launch PAMIC. PAMIC is not installed. Launch Arch Linux 3 tool. Oh yeah, that's installed. It launches. So that's the difference between the buttons. What's behind? Do you have it installed or not? Okay, so Control Alt Enter working. Super T present. Super Q working. Super Shift Q working. Super Shift D present and Super X check. So this is, these are the key bindings to get things going, right? I need to have 
a file manager, you need to have a terminal, you, have, you need to launch applications, Firefox and so on, or Kakafire maybe, I have seen this before. Ah, look at that. Ah, here it is, Kakafire. And yeah, all the rest is fun and games. You need to have more. Both audio is there, otherwise you wouldn't have this 27% and so on and so on so you need to install lots of stuff more and, and change a lot of things but that's what you do that's your dot config and once you figured out what the look is of your operating system you put those things on github the files that matter not just everything in get dot config or local but no that particular file that particular file all right right control R, a reboot, go for the ISO again. That was option one. Now I do option two, use scripts. Make your own scripts, start with ours, copy paste, change whatever you wanna change and run them later on. From time to time, you compare what we have, what you have, anything changed, no. Okay. So this time we're gonna go for the left. The base or the bare installation is what normal distros provide. Provides a language, what language do you want it in? Where do you live? What keyboard? It's always easier to make your decisions this way and this is how it looks if it's not gray, right? Gparted removes all that. And sometimes it's, it's just chokes on all these partitions that people sometimes make. The simple partitions will just work fine. Voila. And now we pause again because we have to wait till this thing installs every bit, meaning zero and one, every bit and byte goes over to the future system. Pausing. All right, let's restart. The exercise continues. This is more of a Sherlock Holmes kind of story. Meaning, it's an all in a black screen. And then, you change the mirrors. Mirror X, mirror D, let's do that one this time. There are different kind of aliases, have a look. You update your system. Fail to retrieve from Taller US, meaning the server that we've, we got eh, is not working. So I need to do mirror A or mirror X and then C, if that's a better one. But you see, you have a list. So I keep downloading. So it's just one of them that's not uh, okay. And it just goes down the list. I have an up-to-date system. Clear. Then, then what? So an up-to-date system, right? Nothing to do. Well, let's do mirror X. We don't want to see this all the time. This takes a bit longer. You count the seconds. But as long as we got, if we got rid of the messages, that's fine. So, now what? Well, you could go for system Pacman minus S, I need SDM and I need etc. 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 XFC4 etc. Why? You just choose the Lego blocks that you want, activate SDM with system CTL enable, and so on, or write all that in a file, make it executable, and download it with git clone. Each time improving the scripts. Arclex. D, Arco, and then Hyper. CD, Arco, Hyper, LS, run 100, then go up and up and up in numbering. But under this mostly, uh, most of the time, the essential things, still not gonna look like the Arcnex B, it's never gonna look as the Arcnex B, ever, because this is the bare thing. You need to hand pick, cherry pick, the applications, the configurations, it's all up to you. 
to the reboot. We got SDM, we got a, a theme, we got hyper, but what do we see then? We don't have Bluetooth, we don't have printers, we don't have Samba, we don't have a lot of things. What do we get if we run just that one script? A white welcome. Okay, quit or launch. Well, look at that, right? Nothing to launch. So, if you want to launch the Arch Linux Tweak Tool, guess what? You need to install the Arch Linux Tweak Tool. If you want to launch PAMIC, then you need to install. Uh, sorry, if you want to launch PAMIC, you need to install PAMIC. Quit. Super Enter, check. Super Q, check. Super Shift D, all right. Super Shift Enter, mm -hmm. nice. No themes, no icon themes, right? No cursor themes. Well, yeah, our little cursor is there. Pipata. Super X, logging out, right? And it's it will always look a little bit different, this thing, because of the fact that every single tiling winner manager reacts differently. And that's it. For me, that's, this is the end, right? You need to solve a lot of more things, install a lot of more stuff but we are already graphical so you could open right mouse click open in terminal and start from there if you say okay cool i'll just do the installations more via this screen because i have now something graphical you do can do also a right control f3 and go back to tty ls cd arco hyper ls and start running number 110 it's what you prefer, right? It's just, okay, go install this thing. In the meantime, I can go back to Control F1. <laughs> it's being installed in the backend in the TTY. It will be there. By this time, Sublime Text is installed, voila. And then you can have a look what's in this file. So the volume icon is going to be installed, player control is going to be installed, Pavo control, Pulse Audio. We're choosing Pulse Audio. One pipe wire, fine. Pseudo Pacman minus S Arch Linux tweak tool. Anything based on Arch, we can just switch and do all these things that the Arch Linux tweak tool provides. Changing from Pulse Audio to pipe wire. ATT, that's in short Arch Linux tweak tool. And now we remove this, for example. And in services, I believe, we find lots of things. Bluetooth network printing Samba, install and switch to Pulse Audio, install and switch to Pipewire. It's a button, it's a button to press, right? So things can be very simple. And well, yeah, actually, <laughs> let's do this in this video. What you can do as well, is install hyper. So a shortcut, so to speak, in here, it says install one of the 33, but hyper is here as well, of course, and it goes installing all of it. So you don't have to think anymore. Everything is already there, but not the Bluetooth, but not printing, but not, eh, but we skipped a lot of things now. If things were missing, this, this is the long list. If anything was missing, it's now already there. Enjoy the Sherlock Holmes feeling. It's um, looking out for, okay, what do I need? And what Lego blocks do I need to install to improve things and all that? Still not anything done about theming, icons, and so on. Have fun.